Hi, this is Julia Gulevich from GLOG Software. In this video I'll show you how to check your email list for validity using the Advanced Email Verifier. Open the Advanced Email Verifier and let's go through the main components of the program. At the left pane there are three tabs – My List, My Databases and Bounced Manager. Under My List you can create lists, load email addresses from the file into the list, verify email addresses and save verified emails to the file. The program can work with large mailing lists and you can upload up to 1 million emails into one list. The number of lists can be unlimited. Under My Databases you can create a link to an external database with your email addresses. The Advanced Email Verifier will take email addresses directly from the database, verify them and save verification results to the database. Or you can choose to save the verification results to local files. The Advanced Email Verifier works with any ODBC compliant database. For example, MS Excel, MS Access, MySQL, MS SQL, Oracle, and others. Bounced Manager is the new feature in the version 8 of the Advanced Email Verifier. Using the Bounced Manager, you can process bounce back emails. You know, during the first email list verification, the Advanced Email Verifier is not able to determine all bad email addresses. This is caused by the specific recipient's mail server configuration. So even if you cleared your email list from bad email addresses, you are likely to receive some bounced back emails. And some time later, for example, in the three or five days after you sent your email newsletter, you can use the Bounced Manager in the Advanced Email Verifier to process those bounce emails that were not determined during the list verification. You can save bounce email to a file and then remove them from your list forever. On the menu bar there are many options that you can use to manage your email list database links and bounce email addresses and if you click here you can access even more options for example you can go to our online support forum you can use the compact and repair option to decrease the size of the program database on your disk this is very useful if you work with large mailing lists you can clear the DNS cache and you can use the Backup Restore option. We recommend that you save a copy of your program workplace and keep it in a safe place. If you reinstall the Advanced ML Verifier or move the program to a new computer, you can always restore your workplace from backup. Well, it was a short introduction into the Advanced Email Verifier version 8 and now let's start working with the program. At the beginning, click on Settings and enter the program settings. Under the General tab in the settings, many options are pre-checked. They are enough for the optimal work of the program, but if you are going to verify a large email list, we recommend that you disable the recheck Google listed emails in one session option. When this option is checked, the verification process runs slower. What are grey listed emails? The grey listing technology means that the mail server rejects the first connection from the IP address. 
The gray listing technology is used to prevent spam messages. It supposed that spammers never retry to send email. The advanced email verifier only imitates sending an email message to the recipient. But when it hits an email address where the mail server uses the gray listing technology, the advanced email verifier marks the email address as gray listed. And when this option is checked, the program waits for 5 minutes and reconnects to the mail server and checks the email address. So, if you want to speed up the verification process, disable this option. You will be able to check grey listed emails sometime later. Now click on the connection tab in the settings. Here you need to choose the connection mode, the way how the advanced email verifier will connect to the recipient's mail server and verify the email address. Four connection modes are available. Direct internet connection, connect to proxy server, use random proxy server from file and connect through web script. Check the button for the direct internet connection and click test. If the test passes, you can use the direct internet connection mode. If the test fails, it means that your internet service provider blocks the port 25 and the direct connection mode won't work for you. Consider using the following options. If you have a proxy server, you can use the proxy server. Type your proxy server name, port number, username, password and click test. If you have many proxy servers, choose the use random proxy server from file. Select the file with proxy servers and the advanced email verifier will randomly use your proxy servers from the file. If you don't have proxy servers, choose the connect through web script option. The web script is provided with the advanced email verifier. Click on get script, upload the script file to your website, type the path to the script on your site here and click test. We have another video tutorial how to work with the web script. The tutorial is available on our website, so please watch that video for more details how to work with the web script. So, after you choose the connection mode, click on the DNS tab in the settings. Here Type your valid email address into the mail form field, then type your domain name into the domain name for hello field. The program automatically determines your DNS servers. Just click Test DNS to test the DNS servers. If you see that the test for some servers failed, click on Clear Failed to delete failed DNS servers from the list. Now click on the Rules tab in the settings. Here we added a few rules that the advanced email verifier will use when checking email addresses. The rules make the program classify all email addresses from Hotmail, Live and Yahoo domains as unknown. As you see, you can enable or disable rules, but if you use the direct internet connection mode, we suggest that you keep the rules active, because if you uncheck the enable rules option and verify the email addresses using the direct internet connection mode, your IP address will be blocked with these internet service providers. If you use the connect through web script option, and the script test says success, you can disable the rules and let the advanced email verifier 
check the email addresses from these domains together with other emails. Then click on Reply Code Rules tab. Here you can see the list of reply codes that the Advanced Email Verifier uses to classify emails. We recommend that you leave these settings by default. On the color theme, you can choose the color and font to show the verification results. When you are done with the settings, click OK. Now you can go to the next step and create a list. Click on My List tab, click on New, and then click Create a New List. Type a list name. List description is optional. By default, the list will be created using the following fields. If you want to import email addresses together with custom fields like first name, last name, company name, job title, phone number and others, use the insert button to add custom fields. When done, click Create. Now you can add email addresses to this list. You can add email addresses manually, one by one. Click on Add New Email. Type the email address. Click OK. If you have the email addresses in a file, you can load or import them into the list. The load option loads email addresses from text and CSV files. The email addresses in the file must be aligned one email per line and the first line must contain the email word. You can type the email word manually and save the file. Now click Load. Select the file on the disk, click Open. The email addresses are loaded. If you want to import the email addresses with custom fields, use the Import option. So, when the email addresses are loaded, click on the Start button to verify them. In this screen, we call it the status screen, you can see how the process goes. This screen shows you the number of processed records, the number of good, bad, unknown, timeout and grey listed email addresses. When the verification is complete, the program will show you very different results. First of all, you can delete bad email addresses from your list. If the advanced email verifier classified the email address as bad, it means that this email address is really invalid. To delete the bad email addresses from the list, click on Clear and select Bad. Click Yes. You are left with good unknown timeout and grey listed emails on the list. We recommend that you recheck the email addresses with the verification result as unknown, timeout and grey listed sometime later. To do this, click an arrow in the Start button, click on Verify email addresses and select, for example, Unknown. The program rechecks only unknown email addresses. This way you can recheck timeout and grey listed email addresses. If after several verification attempts you still have very different results such as unknown, timeout, grey listed and good, we recommend that you keep all these email addresses on your list and send an email message to them. To save the verification results to a file, click Save and select the email addresses you want to save. You can save good, bad, unknown, timeout, grey listed emails to different files or you can choose 
all and save all the email addresses to one file. To export the verified emails together with custom fields, use the export option. As I told you, the advanced email verifier is not able to identify all bad email addresses during the list verification. Even if you clear your email list from bad email addresses, you can still receive bounce back emails. That's why we added the bounced manager to the advanced email verifier. A few days later, after you sent your email campaign, use the bounce manager to process bounce back emails. You can save the bounce back emails to the file and remove them from your email list completely. I'll tell you how to work with the bounce manager in the next video. So until the next time, bye bye.